you know, just talk to our guys uh, and, and really, you know, spend a lot of time this week uh, working on our defense. And I thought, um, you know, for the most part, I was really pleased, right? You know, they're shooting under 40 for the game. Uh, they were, what, three for 27, three for 29 from three. Um, you know, so we got, I mean, we haven't been guarding three very well. Um, and then we shot the three pretty well. Um, and, and, you know, our process right now, and, um, you know, as you look at it, we have significant minutes being played by guys um, that are new to the program. Right? You have Nick playing 40 today. Uh, Q's playing huge minutes for us. Jerome's playing huge minutes for us. And so our process, right, is um, it's not going to be as accelerated maybe as, as we all hoped, right? And, and we've got to, um, you know, we've just got to accept that and try to get better. And, and we did that this week, which I was really pleased with. We took the right shots and buried them. Um, we uh, guarded three extremely well. Um, but now we got to look at it. Okay, so the press break wasn't great. We had 15 second half turnovers, right? That's our next step. Right? We can't have that, right? When they extended their zone, um, pseudo man zone, I mean, I'm not exactly sure what it was there in the second half, right? We hadn't seen that before. And so we weren't, you know, able to necessarily adapt as quickly as we um, would have hoped. Now, we did adapt. Um, Kobe made a huge basket. Nick made a huge basket in that stretch. Um, and so, um, you know, again, pleased to get the win. Um, I am you know, very much concentrated on, on what's next. I asked these guys for a couple more days. Um, we got to focus in, we got to get better, um, and then we can rest our head for a little bit um, before, uh, you know, before the conference season begins back up. Kobe, you guys had a couple situations, and Carnic Ward was one of them. This one, you're up 18 in the second half, and by all accounts, game's over, right? Um, but it's not over. Like just when, from a from a competitive mental standpoint, what is it like when all of a sudden they flip a switch, and, and you guys got to kind of catch up to that? Um, kind of puts you on on your heels a little bit, but again, I think that's on us, I mean, myself included. But at times when we're up like that, it gets a little nonchalant. Instead of trying to push that 15 to 30, we kind of just kind of try to keep it at 15, but it's Division one basketball, so it all takes a few shots to turn it around. Um, so I mean, a lot, a lot of that is on things that we can do and just staying locked in and, and really not showing for on TV. But also them competing. Nick, what was the what was the difference of their run there in the second half? Um, I mean, I thought we just didn't really get back a lot. Of first half, we just uh, kept them in front of us. But second half, I felt like we were missing a couple shots that we did in the first, and we just kind of didn't sprint back. But um. I mean, I'm happy to be, uh, we stuck around on that command. For you, obviously, you're going to be playing a lot of minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Just personnel, the way that it is. 13 assists today, just, uh, just but this challenge that you have in front of you, how important is it for you to come out and deliver numbers like that? Um, just really important, you know, uh, we had two important pieces going out, Preston and uh, Darius is out right now, so um, I know I'm going to have a bigger role than what I usually had, especially minutes-wise, so I'm just trying to go out there, and no matter how many minutes I'm playing, if it's 40 minutes, if it's 30 minutes, if it's 10 minutes, I'm going to go out there and you know, get all of that. Connor, when you see that an opponent's coming in and plays all zone, that's got to be a green light for you, right? Just how excited were you coming into this game? Oh, yeah, I was pretty excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, to see a couple of them fall down, right? Especially, I mean, even the one I thought was a three, they called a two, right? But to see a couple of those go down, just how, how good is that for confidence? Uh, I mean, for confidence-wise, I feel like I'm, I'm a great shooter. I know that, so I feel like any shots going in at any time, um, as long as I keep that confidence. You know. Matt, in particular to Q and Connor, how important was it for these guys to kind of get going right off the bat? Well, you know, I'm a big believer in, you know, you, you practice, and when you practice well, you know, you perform well in practice, you know, it carries over to the games. Connor's been shooting the heck out of in practice. I haven't even talked to Kobe about this, but, but Kobe's been, like a great playmaker in practice. You know, he's been drawn to get people open shots. He did that well today. Uh, Q's been shooting it great. Like, we had great practices um, coming into this. So again, my expectation was we wouldn't make shots. And, um, and so again, we just got to continue, you know, I know it's cliche in a lot of ways, but continue with you know, our process with our team, our guys, our unit, um, and, and just continue to, to plug away and get better. Um, and uh, you know, I'm excited about that. Kobe, you got one more game left before Christmas. I think oftentimes people say it's the most important game of the year because it, either you like opening presents or you don't like opening presents, depending yeah. on what happens. How, how key is it to to not be thinking about the family and the holidays and all of that and go get this game on Wednesday? You know, it's very key. I mean, I just had a couple more days, but uh, no one wants to go home after a loss. I think we got to come out strong, uh, then be able to enjoy Christmas and come back and get ready for the next part of the season. But uh, don't overlook anybody. Just come out and compete.
for all 40 minutes. Connor, was Jason Karras here your first year? He was. What, 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 what do you think that'll be like to, I'm not gonna see you guys until before that game, what do you think that'll be like to, to kind of go up against him a little bit? Yeah, no, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, no, JK is awesome. Uh, he's a great guy when he was here. He's uh, a fun guy to be around, so it should be fun to play against him. And Matt, I, I know you're, you'll have an opportunity with Raylan later on, but to see, to coach against guys that you've seen and been in your program, what, what's that like? Matt, look, it, it, it's funny because you, you know, I spent a lot of time um, just asking people why Alpo, right? Why did you choose Alpo? And, um, you know, Jason was one of those, right? He's, he's from Boston, right? And, and typically, you don't get a young man coming here from Boston to Alpo. And, you know, he said it was because of the program. I mean, it was because of the basketball. Um, I think he was going on campus tours here and, and some other places in the Midwest. He's got some family here. And, you know, we were the ones that showed him around, showed him some love, said he could be a manager. Um, and, and, you know, he made a career out of it, or was making a career out of it. So it's pretty special to see, um, you know, in a lot of ways, like, you know, we, we you know, as coaches, right, we mentor, or we try to anyway, uh, try to, um, and so to see a young man um, and be a full-time assistant at his age is pretty special.